and the Waterville girls soccer team practiced on the field right after the football team left. And the team came in second in its division last year right behind Sequoia Valley. But the players say they're confident they can earn first place this year, largely because of how close they feel as a team. According to publicschoolreview.com, Waterville Junior Senior High School has just more than 350 students in grades 7 through 12. Senior soccer player Anna Beach says with less people, everyone is close. Since we go to such a small school, everyone knows each other. Like, I've spent so much time with them, like, outside of sports. So I feel like we all bond really well and we just know each other really well. And Waterville girls soccer players say that feeling carries over to the team as well especially because this season all but two players have returned. We've been together for a few years now. We all like have been playing with each other nonstop. We just know like what each other's thinking and we kind of can play like a step ahead of each other and we're just used to like being on the field with each other. The junior senior high school allows girls from all grades to try out for the varsity team. Beach made the team in her eighth grade year making this season her fifth. I feel like the experience really helps. I don't have a lot of nerves going into different games. Freshman Julia Carter also made the team in eighth grade. She's now entering freshman year of high school already with one year experience. I've actually been watching um, like some of the seniors this year. Like I was watching them like I was in the stands when they were playing. So it's really important to me like now I get to play with them. It's a really cool feeling. Not only have the players been together for years, coach James Fister has been with them along the way as well. It's definitely helpful because you know how what he expects and it doesn't change from year to year except like the different level from modified to JV to varsity. There's different expectations but you know how he coaches what he expects as a player. And close with their community as well. We're just together like that's our biggest thing like I feel like we're really like close with our fans as well so everyone's just, just kind of like on the same page. We're really like strong and supporting each other. The community and the players have their first chance to show their camaraderie this year, this coming Thursday, when the Indians host Dolgeville at 7 p.m.